Hi there, today on It Is A Keeper, I'm showing you how to make Italian pignoli cookies or Italian pine nut cookies. These cookies are straight out of my Aunt Tina's recipe box. They are one of my favorite Italian cookies and I can remember having them every Christmas. Now, before we get started, make sure you click on the red subscribe button below so you don't miss a single recipe. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so you're not going to believe how easy these pignoli cookies are to make. And when I say pignoli, it's just the Italian word for pine nut. So it starts with almond paste. So here I have two bricks of almond paste. And I take it out of the package and just kind of break it up. It's real sticky. And it's basically just, I think, ground up almonds and sugar. What's nice about this recipe is that it's a gluten-free recipe. There's no flour in it. It's mostly just almond paste. <laughs> so we're just breaking up. You really need a food processor to do this. It really does make the job super, super simple. Oh, I just love the smell of almond paste. It smells so good. And you want to break this up to make the job easier for your food processor. Okay, so now that we have our almond paste broken up, we're just going to add some white sugar. Just get that in there. Click that on and we're going to pulse this until we see fine crumbs. Okay, so you can see, let me pop the lid off and show you, that it just kind of looks like sand, right? Got really, really fine. So the sugar combined with the almond paste. So to this, we are going to add some egg whites. And this is what's going to bind everything together and make a dough for us. So, get the lid back on there. This I'm just gonna let run until the dough starts to form and come together. Okay, so you see how it's so we see how it starts to come together into a single like, ball. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to get my food processor out of here and then I will show you what we're going to do with this batter. Okay, so we have our cookie dough. It all came together. It's nice and sticky too. So this I found is a great job for a cookie scoop. I'll put a link to this one in the show notes. It makes it so much easier to use, or to scoop the, the dough. And plus, you end up with the same size cookie then every single time. So we're just gonna take a scoop of the dough, roll it in a ball, and then you're going to take one side of that ball and dip it into the pine nuts. So you want a nice coating of pine nuts on the top, and then just place it on your baking sheet. So I'm going to repeat this process for all of this almondy dough. So while this is a great gluten-free recipe, it's definitely not something you want to try if you have a nut allergy. <laughs> but I think it's like pretty much 99% nuts <laughs> and a little bit of sugar and egg white. So if the, you find like this one, the nuts aren't sticking nice, you just gotta kind of push them in. So when you get it on the cookie sheet, you can always just add a couple more nuts in there. And what's great is as they bake, the pine nuts toast. And they get that warm, toasted nut flavor. Delicious. Okay. Last one for this tray. So what I like to do at the end is I just kind of look and see if any of them need a little more time. They didn't stick good, but these are looking good. Now I really should have named my cooking channel The Messy Cook because I make a mess <laughs> in everything that I do. But it's part of the fun, right? Okay, so we're gonna take these cookies, we're going to bake them, and then we'll take them out when they're nice and golden brown and you'll see how chewy they are. Okay, so our cookies are baked and cooled. One final step, and this is completely optional, and you want to make sure they're cooled before you do this, is I'm going to put a little bit of powdered sugar over top. This is especially nice if you're making these for Christmas. It just adds just that little something extra. And I like to do it over, oops, over
over a little strainer just to get out any lumps. I'm gonna give these, these guys just a little bit more. Because they're not sweet enough, right? Okay, now I'm going in. I just love these cookies. They're such a nice treat. So you see how they just break apart? They're not crispy. They're definitely a chewy cookie. And if you like almonds, you're gonna love these. I'm gonna break off a piece. These are delicious. They're so chewy, but they have that crispy exterior and you get that toasted nuttiness from the pine nuts actually roasting in the oven as the cookies were baking. You guys, these are a decadent treat. You're gonna love them, it's definitely a keeper. Thanks for watching. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And be sure to check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye.